head everybody and we uh, let me try that again head everybody i hope you're having a great day we are here at the arrogant expo this is day four and we've kind of got a couple more of our live range day segments to bring to you before we're going to go run and have dinner and then get set up for our what a range day wrap up i kind of like that way that sounds range day racket wrap up uh, or what we have got round table wrap up is even better before we get started though i want to say thank you to our sponsors which we have gateway to air guns Air Guns of Arizona, Predator International with JC Pellets. And of course, right now, we're gonna be taking a look at a new gun uh, that's come in and it's being brought in by Cattleman Guns. This is a pretty interesting little offering into the US market. Uh, it's priced uh, pretty affordably uh, in the four to $700 ish range. It may be more like five to $700, but definitely check out their website, which is cattlemanguns.com. You can find out all the different models that they have. This is one of the ones they sent me. This is called the T1. And what you're gonna find is they have them in a bunch of different wraps. Uh, so if you're into that, you know, kind of cool camo styling, uh, they definitely have a, a bunch of offerings that way. Um, this gun does have a pretty cool folding stock. It has a rail here and it has a couple different foregrips. They sent me a couple of examples so that I could show you guys. Uh, this is one that would match this that doesn't have the rails. And then they have this one, which has the pick rails on it. So if you wanted to go with a bipod, put some groceries like lasers and lights on it, you can certainly do that as well. Um, what we really want to see today is how does it shoot? So what we're going to do, it's a little breezy. This is actually their lower powered 25. They said that this is their backyard friendly model. Now they also do have uh, LDCs that they carry. So if you want to suppress yours, uh, you can do that, which is kind of cool. It came in this pretty neat case. Uh, actually has it came with this now, I'm not quite sure what all accessories come with the gun when you buy it I do know it comes in the hard shell case but it looks like they have a bunch of cool stuff that you can maybe add to your order to kind of deck out your gun the way you want to shoot it I have mounted on this one the new Hawk Endurance red dot I really like this red dot one of the things it can do is that when you leave it like that for a while it shuts itself off so you don't burn up your battery <laughs> that is super handy what I'm going to do now is grab a shooting bag and we're going to drill a gong. It's right around, eh, it's probably right around 28 yards right now. And we're just going to see how many times we can hit this thing and just keep it on target. Uh, let's go ahead and get set up. Before we do that, we're going to need to fill our mag and we're going to need to air it up. So I have got a probe. Just a second, Angie. Um, it does fill with the probe. You can get a bunch of extra magazines. Where is my mag? You know what? Just in case, Oop, I'm gonna grab two of them right here. All right. They do have a bunch of cool stuff that comes in the case. Now, Angie, if you would help me, that would be great. Okay, excellent. Well, there was the other mag was in my pocket. All right. So this is the 25 model. Uh, from our testing, it's doing uh, about 600, maybe 650 feet per second in the sweet spot of the curve. It's not regulated, so um, it does have a shot curve and you do need to watch your pressure, okay? So if you let it run too low, uh, the valve can actually dump on you, so don't do that. Make sure you stay above, I don't know, maybe 120 bar. Uh, and it's so fun to shoot, like rapid fire, that you do need to pay attention to like, all right, two mags, fill up. Uh, so definitely pay attention to that when you're shooting your gun. Um, the magazine is super easy to load. Show, I don't know if you can zoom in on that mag, but it is just a spring actuated magazine here. Um, and every time you put in a pellet, that becomes your next stop. So you don't have to advance it first and then fill it. Just drop a pellet in the hole, rotate it to the next hole. Do one more. So 
Sorry, a little boring just loading pellets, I know, so bear with me here. I didn't even count them. How many shots do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shots. Okay. I'm shooting the JSB Kings. They're 25.4 grain. Now, before we get started, we're going to go ahead and air this up. I want to make sure I have plenty of air in the tank here. It's a 200 bar fill, so you're looking at I don't know, 2,900 PSI, let's say 3,000 PSI for giggles. Um, go ahead and do it. I'm going to take a couple shots because I think I might have overfilled it just a little bit. So just go ahead and get it ready. Oh, here, when you're loading the mag, I'm so used to loading from the right side. These are actually indexed as far as they have a little notch there. They load in from the left side. Now I'm just going to shoot the dirt pile for a second and take a shot. I want to hear how it's doing because I think I did put a little too much air in it. Yeah. No, that's perfectly fine. Okay, it is pretty quiet as you heard that, and that is just as the gun shoots. It's not real powerful, but again, this was their backyard friendly model that they sent me. Um, they have some other models that push a lot more power, but really want to kind of showcase something that would be really kind of fun for the backyard. All right, we're going to go to the gong now. You know what? I am not happy with that placement of the gong. I'm going to clear this. All right, I'm going to remove the mag. And Jeff, would you go out and spin that a little bit so it's more square to me? Um, I didn't like the way it was angled. Just want to be safe here, everybody. So if you have any questions, um, I've spent a little time with this gun. I actually have played with this particular uh, gun from, you know, in this style in the past. If you have any questions, just shout out. I will say um, it's lightweight. Uh, the trigger, I don't mind it. It's kind of a very long single stage trigger. I'll check it again, but the way it felt to me, it didn't have a real distinct click, uh, a second stage, you know, break. Um, you've got an adjustable cheek piece here, a cheek riser. Oh, there it is. So you can adjust it like that if you want. I think they have a pretty good styling going on here. All right, here we go. All right. Yep, all right. Let's check our pressure. All right, we are at, well, I just barely have dipped below 200 bar on the gauge. So I'm not sure that this gauge lines up with my other gauge. So I think we're good to go ahead and go with another mag here. Let me see how I can check that trigger for you too, because I didn't do that. Let's see. Okay, I don't feel a two stage, it's just a single stage from what I can tell here. Let me see. Oh, hold on, I'm making me a liar. Now, it's a single stage trigger. What you'll find is if you half pull it through, it sort of feels like it sort of stops there. So if you bring it halfway and then let it go back, the sear is probably staying somewhat engaged or somewhat moved. So if you start pulling the trigger, you want to finish pulling the trigger.
Okay. So that's that. That is actually pretty cool. Very quiet. Um, I said backyard friendly without having the big moderator at the end. I think what I'd like to try and do just for giggles, if I could get my sister to reorient the camera at 100 yards. I'm going to try and use this little red dot to see if I can tag that gong at 100 yards just for giggles. So Cheryl, let me know when you're on. I'm going to go ahead and gas this up because I want to make sure I have enough air in it. Okay, so after two mags, I'm sitting at about a about 190 bar. So at this part, at this part of the shot curve and the pressure usage, it's just sipping the air. So we're not really pushing real hard right now, but plenty fun for that was 30 yards, 27, 28 yards. That's plenty fun, uh, plenty accurate, plenty enough accuracy and power to have fun in the backyard. There it is. All right, we're gonna see how many times, how many shots it takes me to hit that at 100 yards. Okay. And of course, the wind picks up. How are we doing, Cheryl? That's got, Larry, what do you think? Is that about a 10 inch gong? Okay. So that is, uh, Larry doesn't have a mic, but I'll just, I'll just uh, translate. That's a little bit bigger than an EBR uh, bull. <laughs> got a chuckle. That's what I was going for. All right. Let me know if you need some help, Cheryl. You got it? Okay. Cool. All right. I'm going for a gong at 100 yards with a little red dot scope. What could possibly go wrong? A fine tuning. Oh, the wind's coming right in my face. Where's Joe? All right, he's, he's, he has escaped. We're just going to shoot it. You guys ready? Yep. Low, low left. Oh. There it is. There it is. There it is, all right. So three shots on a gong at 100 yards with a little red dot scope. You know, it may not be the most powerful. It certainly is in the affordable class of guns. It has some cool styling and some cool features. Um, if this is what you're looking for, some backyard friendly shooting, uh, give, them a, give them a try, cattlemanguns.com. I wanna thank them for sponsoring this segment here at Airgun Expo. I wanna thank all our sponsors. We have. Uh, Airguns of Arizona, Gateway to Airguns, and of course, Predator International with JSB Pellets. Guys, that's going to be it. We're going to reset and try and sneak one more in. We've got some very cool guns coming up from Airgun Pro Shop. Thanks for watching.